Hey everyone, I'm gonna take you through a five minute warm up that's absolutely essential before you start hitting. All right, let's go for it. So here, we're gonna start by pumping blood through the main muscles of the lower body. Essentially, the quads and the glutes. I'm gonna start with some lunges. Try to go all the way down, full range of motion. If your knee can touch the ground, that's great. And then you go for a curtsy lunge, same thing. Try to feel that stretch. Okay, I'm gonna go for six reps. Two, three. Make sure your knee doesn't smash on the ground. Four, five, six. I do the same thing on the other leg. Okay, again, same thing, full range of motion. One, two, and the goal here is to try to feel your muscles working. It shouldn't be too hard, but it's gonna help you get some blood flowing so when you actually start moving, it'll be safe. Five, and six. All right, so here we took care of the quads and the glutes. We do a little bit of hamstrings and glutes. So for that, I like to get on the floor and do some bridges here. Tuck in your pelvis and go up here. Squeeze your butt a little bit and go for about 10 reps. and 10, all right. That takes care of the posterior chain of your legs. Lastly, two more things. I'm gonna go for some, uh, some calf raises here, full range of motion, one leg at a time. So I go up, hold for a couple seconds, then go back down, and again. I'll go for 12 reps. Again, I'm getting some blood flowing through my calf muscles. All right, same thing on the other leg. Okay, another exercise that works your calf is jump rope, but jump rope has impact. So ideally you wanna start with something with low impact, like these calf raises. And okay, all right, so that takes care of the Blood pumping, okay, through the lower body muscles. The last thing I'm gonna do is a dynamic stretch. Now, you don't wanna do static stretch before playing because that's, that can actually impede mus muscle performance, but dynamic stretch is okay. So we're gonna start with groin area. Try to take this to greater range of motion and then go for about 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Same thing on the other leg. And start slow and then go a little further until you reach your full range of motion. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And lastly, again, some more leg swings. This time to focus a little bit more on the hamstrings. One, try to keep your pelvis straight. Ten, same thing on the other side. All right, there you have it. Lower body warm up. We've gone through all the main muscle groups for the lower body, the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, and the calf muscles. Did a little dynamic stretching with the leg swings. The one thing you don't want to do is static stretch. Now, static stretch is best kept for after playing, not for your warm up. All right, we're going to look at the upper body muscles. We're going to warm up our biceps, our triceps, we're going to warm up our wrists as well, our shoulder rotators, okay? And then we're going to finish with a little bit of oblique work with the rotation. All right, get my elastic. 
is something that every tennis player should have and use the pull of the net. All right, here we're gonna work on the back muscles and the biceps. 10 to 12 reps. And we're gonna move to shoulder rotators. We're gonna start with the left arm. Right arm, opposite move. This will be more useful for your forehand. And we'll go from the other side. Start with their right arm, backhand. And finish with the left arm. I'm not gonna finish with a little bit of oblique work. And finish with the backhand side. All right. I definitely suggest that you guys get one of these elastics, but in case you don't, I'll show you a few movements that you can do instead. The first thing you can do is a little bit of dynamic stretches for your upper body. You can go for a little push-up, incline, maybe you can do those push-ups on the net nice and slow. Try to work those muscles a little bit. Same thing, about 10 reps. And everything I show with the elastic, you can pretty much do the same isometrically, okay, with the pull, so I'm just here and trying to push this way. Try to work those muscles isometrically. Same thing with the other arm. Same thing on the other side. Okay, essentially I'm doing the same thing in an isometric fashion, okay? And the last thing you wanna do is maybe use that racket. Even use two rackets if you prefer, and just do a few movements. So same movements we were doing earlier. Okay, here you can do a little bit of the shoulder, okay? Warm up the wrist a little bit as well. And this will help in case you don't have your elastic. We've just taken care of the upper body warm up. We looked at our biceps, our triceps, our pecs, the back muscles, the wrist, the shoulders obviously, and we finish with a little rotation to work the obliques. Once you've done that, you're safe to start hitting. But if you have a little bit more time, you can maybe take your body through different explosive movements that are gonna take you even closer towards the game of tennis. Essentially, maybe some jump roping or some sprints. All right, so we've just gone through a five minute warm up where essentially what we've done is pump some blood throughout all the different muscles involved in the game of tennis. Once you've done that, you're safe to start hitting.